Should you be using advantage campaign budget or ad set budget optimization? In this video, I'm going to answer the question very quickly for you and give you the reasons why so that you can make the best decision for you. There's very little gray space to this. For the most part, you are going to want to turn on advantage campaign budget, but let me explain why. So it's this button here at the campaign level that you can turn on at the very bottom and just explaining what this means for those of you who don't know it means are we setting the budget for the campaign as a whole and then letting facebook decide how much each ad set gets or are we saying no let us control the budget at the ad set level so if we wanted to toggle off the advantage campaign budget then what that would do is it would make it so that we would set the budget at the ad set level. So then we would say, okay, audience one gets a hundred bucks and then audience two gets 50 bucks instead of just saying the entire campaign gets $150 and then you divvy it up between the two. Now I'm gonna talk about the one time that you want to actually do the ad set budget optimization. And this would be if you are trying to control how much of your budget goes to certain countries or just geographic area. So maybe you're a local business and you say, I want a little bit more budget to go to people in our local area because even though we have online sales, the people that live around our store have a higher lifetime value because they have the potential to come into our store and potentially partake in other things that you do, other services that you do just for your local audience. Then you could divide it up where you're just giving a little bit more budget to the local audience rather than the national. However, at this point in the maturity of Facebook and Instagram ads, giving Meta more control is almost always the best way to do it. So let's say that audience one was simply like an interest based targeting. So maybe I'm doing an ad to other business owners. And this one is like people that have their uh, that own a Facebook page is what I do for this one. And then this one is it, people interested in entrepreneurship. In the past, I actually would have said do the ad set budget optimization because you almost wanted to force the budget to go to your tests so that you could test your guesses and then you could make the decision yourself and then you could fine tune them. But at this point, they really know if the people in each audience are better for your offer. And the thing is, is it will change each day. So rather than saying, all right, they both get a uh, hundred bucks, even if I kept them the exact same, this would still be quite a bit different than just saying $200 total for the campaign. Cause it's saying, hey, make sure you spend a hundred here and a hundred here. What would happen if I had the campaign budget at 200 is that some days one of them would spend 75 and the other one would spend 125 and the next day that might even flip flop. And the reason why is because they know best as to like if this is a sales campaign, if there are more buyers in one audience one day than another. And the cool thing too is this is a great way to t test uh, new audiences without spending money to figure out if they work or not. So in the past, if you wanted to say, let's come out with a new audience, let's test people interested in marketing, and then let's force it to have a $50 budget at the ad set level so that that money goes there and we can figure out if this works or not. What you can do now is you just come out with the new audience, but then you keep it at the campaign budget optimization. I'm going to turn that back on the advantage campaign budget. You're going to want to have on in every single circumstance besides if you're trying to control your budget geographically, then um, what you're going to do is now we've got it at 200 bucks and we'd come out with the marketing audience. And then if the marketing audience starts showing that would be the proof that the ad set is a good one because it's not gonna give it that budget unless it feels like there are buyers in that audience on that day. So if it doesn't win its budget just by being an audience in itself that it actually competes and wins the budget over the business or entrepreneurship ones, then that's how you can more know that it's not working, which is great um, because now you can more test it of did it actually get ad spend versus did we spend money unprofitably? Did we spend a couple hundred bucks and it didn't work is how you would know in the past if it 
would not be a good audience and now it's just it wins the budget or it doesn't so that answers that question if you want nothing to do with ads then don't worry you can book a free call with me below for either my done with you ad services or my done for you ad services where my company will do everything for you so we can teach you how to run your ads yourself so you don't need an agency or we can do it for you if you want nothing to do with this hope to talk to you soon and i'll see you in the next video